Welcome back to DailyWildcat.com's video breakdown of Arizona football. What a game last week between the Wildcats and the Hawkeyes. There were a lot of ups and a lot of downs for Arizona. Let's look at them all. We'll start with the first touchdown of the game, a four-yard pass from Nick Foles to his roommate, David Douglas. Arizona's in the shotgun with trips to the right. Iowa's deepest safety is lined up in the end zone and is responsible for taking the first receiver that crosses his face. In this instance, it's David Roberts' clear route. As Roberts sprints upfield and turns the safety's shoulders to the sideline, David Douglas runs a delayed drag route. The slight hesitation allows Roberts to clear out the safety and open up the middle of the field. Douglas is pretty well covered, but he gets good inside position and allows Foles to make the throw. Flip it to the defensive side. Iowa has three tight ends on the field and two receivers, giving the wideouts plenty of space to work. After the wing on the left motions to the right, Arizona's outside linebacker shifts inside, opening up the entire left side for Iowa quarterback Ricky Stanzi to throw. The wide receiver recognizes the soft spot in the, in the defense and changes his route to fill it. Yet once Arizona safety Anthony Wilcox sees Stanzi drop back to pass, he immediately comes upfield to close up the zone. The receiver sees Wilcox and, toss, and tosses up some alligator arms in fear of getting clocked and tips the ball to the awaiting Trevin Wade, who takes it to the house. Wade was giving him cushion so that he'd be ready for a tip pass, likely because he knew he had Wilcox to help him deep on the quick route. It was a smart play by Wade, but the early pick six didn't keep Stanzi from taking shots at Arizona cornerbacks. Unlike most teams we've seen in the past, Iowa attacked Arizona's corners and actually got pretty good results. Let's look at an example of a Wildcat corner being out of position. The Wildcats are in a cover three, and Trevin Wade is lined up 10 yards off the ball, giving Iowa receiver Darrell Johnson Koulianos a giant cushion. Johnson Koulianos plays no mind to the cushion and challenges Wade deep. Wade was likely feeling comfortable with the amount of space between he and the receiver, so he likely got a little flat-footed when the two met. He shouldn't have. Look at that move. Johnson Koulianos... <laughs> Does this guy have a nickname? Schools Wade with the stutter move and beats him downfield. Easy six points, except Stanzi overthrew him. Wade and the Wildcats got lucky here, but it wasn't a great game overall for the corners. Then again, not a lot went well for Arizona for most of the second half. Just ask Nick Foles. Arizona is again in the shotgun and again has trips to the right. Here you can see Foles' read. He's got a deep, a mid, and a shallow receiver to throw to all on the right side. The Wildcats were in this formation a lot on Saturday, and they almost always had the outside receiver run that shallow drag route that Douglas ran earlier in this video for a touchdown. This time, however, Iowa was ready for it. Check out defensive end Broderick Bins. The usually prolific pass rusher steps upfield initially, but then sags back into a shallow zone right in front of where Douglas is. Foles never saw him, and Bins made an incredibly athletic play, picking off the rocket from point blank and taking it back. Unbelievable play by Bins, and a devastating blow to Arizona. A lot of people thought that would be it, but the Cats had some fight in them. Let's look at some of the key plays on the game-winning drive. Again, several Cats to the right. David Roberts is in the middle and runs a seam right down the field. He puts a dirty in-cut fake to freeze the safety and then gets on top of his defender to return to the seam. He's open, but frees it right here. The weak side safety books it to Robert's side, leaving Foles a tiny window that requires him to make a perfect throw. He does just that, and Roberts does the rest, making a diving catch that set the tone for the drive. A few plays later, and here we are again with three receivers running routes to the right. Only the inside guy is running back Nick Grigsby. The play is going to the bottom of your screen. Iowa's corner and nickelback are in man coverage, but anticipating crossing routes from Arizona's twin receiver set, the corner takes the first man to come outside, while the nickel takes the first man to come inside. Roberts is in the middle, and he clears the safety and the cornerback by running a flag. Grigsby, the running back, runs the seam out the backfield. The nickel takes him because Douglas stops his drag route to sit in the soft spot of the zone. Remember that pick six by Iowa? The Wildcats adjusted to that coverage and had Douglas stop his route halfway through, leaving him wide open with plenty of room to run. Big play in the drive, setting up a Nick Grigsby first down run. Two plays later, Bug Wright at the top of your screen 
runs an out to the corner of the end zone. He's wide open, touchdown, ball game, but he dropped it. A string of penalties, the drop punt, and now a drop touchdown pass? Come on, Bug. Let's go to the next play. Check out this play call. Iowa's in man coverage and has four wide. Grigsby motions to the left out of the backfield at full speed, and the middle linebacker follows him, opening up just enough space for the middle of the field, for where Foles can squeeze the throw into who? Bug right. Touchdown, Wildcats. Arizona upsets Iowa 34-27. It really was a heck of a game for the Wildcats on Saturday. Beating Iowa could be huge for the program, not only this year, but moving forward. However, it won't matter anything if the Cats can't do anything in conference play. They'll open up in the Pac-10 this week against Cal here at home, and you can believe we'll be right back here next week breaking down some plays from that game. For DailyWildcat.com, I'm Tim Kosh.